In India's vast spiritual and cultural history, there is one weapon that is not just a symbol of power, but also of protection, righteousness and cosmic order, the Sudarshan Chakra. From the hands of Lord Vishnu to the emblems of Indian defense today, it represents the eternal fight against darkness and injustice. So hello everyone, welcome, you're watching Next IAS English. Today we begin our exploration of India's defense capabilities with a symbol as ancient as time, the Sudarshan Chakra. In mythology, Lord Vishnu Sudarshan Chakra is more than just a weapon. It's the eternal protector spinning endlessly to maintain cosmic order and shield the righteous. Today, India is crafting its own version, not made of gold and fire, but of missiles, lasers and AI-powered systems. This modern Sudarshan Chakra is designed not for conquest, but for safeguarding the nation's peace and security. Let's dive into how this divine metaphor is shaping India's defense reality today. Firstly, let's talk about the Sudarshan Chakra breakthrough. So, in August 2025, DRDO conducted the maiden test of the Integrated Air Defense Weapon System under Mission Sudarshan Chakra. Imagine a shield that combines missiles and lasers working seamlessly and guided by artificial intelligence. It can engage multiple aerial threats, aircraft, ballistic missiles and even drones across different altitudes simultaneously. This is India's step towards creating its own Iron Dome, a national protective canopy envisioned to be operational by 2035. What makes this unique is its indigenous DNA, from the software that commands the system to the warheads that intercept threats. The Sudarshan Chakra today is not just myth, but a living, spinning shield protecting our skies. Now, let's move forward to the multi-tire air shield architecture. Our air defense is not a single weapon, but a layered network that covers every threat range. At the outermost layer is the S-400 Triumph, which is imported from Russia with an astonishing range of 400 kilometers, capable of detecting and neutralizing threats before they even approach our borders. Next, the Barak-8 missile system, which was jointly developed developed with Israel along with India's own Akash NG missile system provide mid-range defense from 70 to 100 kilometers. Akash NG especially represents the leap of India's indigenous innovation capable of engaging stealthy targets. For close-range protection against drones and missiles, we rely on systems like SPIDER and QR-SAM and pioneering laser weapons prototypes. These are the last line of defense, ensuring even the smallest threat is neutralized swiftly. All these layers are networked by IACCS, the Integrated Air Command and Control System, acting like a conductor coordinating an orchestra, ensuring every sensor, radar and missile system operates in harmony for rapid and precise response. Now let's look at Akash Tee, the AI brain of the shield. So behind this complex network is the AI-powered brain, also called Akash Teer, developed by BEL, DRDO and ISRO. Akash Teer integrates real-time data from Army, Air Force, Navy and civilian sensors as well, creating a single operational picture during a recent trial. In Operation Sundur, Akash Teer achieved a remarkable 100% percent interception success rate against simulated aerial threats including drones. Picture this nation-scale Javis like Iron Man's AI assistant but protecting an entire country. This demonstrates how India is harnessing AI and automation to leapfrog traditional defenses, making the system faster, smarter and much more resilient. Now let's talk about land-based precision and firepower. The modern Sudarshan Chakra isn't just about air defense, it also strikes from the ground. Take the Brahmos missile, a supersonic cruise missile developed jointly by India and Russia, capable of speeds over Mach 3. It can be launched from land, sea and air, providing flexible precision strikes. The missile was successfully deployed during a deterrence exercise in Arunachal Pradesh and has been exported to the Philippines, a testament to India's growing defense exports. 
Complementing Brahmos is Rudram-1, an anti-radiation missile which is designed to neutralize enemy radars stealthily before they can target our forces. Its hypersonic variant Rudram-2 is in development, promising even faster strike capabilities. Additionally, the Pinaka rocket system delivers powerful area suppression and mobile brigades like Rudra, Divyastra and Shaktiban offer rapid deployment and precision firepower, much like the Sudarshan chakra spins and strikes swiftly. These units are agile, precise and adaptive. Now let's look at the future force, stealth, hypersonic and project Kusha. India's defense future is even more ambitious. The future for force is developing a fifth generation stealth fighter jet designed to, designed to dominate the skies with radar evading capabilities. The BrahMos-2, a hypersonic missile with speed over Mach 7 is in pipeline, promising to revolutionize missile strike with its unmatched speed and precision. Project Kusha aims to fill the gap in air defense with a long range surface to air missile system, reaching 150 to 400 km range, effectively bridging the space between medium range systems and the S-400 shield. Together, these projects show how India is preparing for next generation warfare, fast, precise and technology driven. Now let's talk about the operational validation and export growth. These are not just plans on paper. India's defense systems have been operationally validated. Operation Sindur saw Indian indigenous missiles, loitering munitions and sensor networks outperform foreign imports during live fire exercises. This success boosts confidence in Make in India products. Exports are growing rapidly. Brahmos missiles are headed to Southeast Asia. Advanced radar systems to Armenia and loitering munitions and are garnering interest worldwide. The goal is ambitious, reaching 50,000 crore, about $5.8 billion in defense exports by 2029, transforming India from a buyer to a supplier in the global defense market. Now let's look at the Vision 2035, a unified shield. All these efforts culminate under Mission Sudarshan Chakra, a vision for a seamless multi-layered defense shield by 2035. This shield will cover all domains, air, land, sea, space and cyberspace, leveraging AI satellite networks, drones and swarms, cyber defense systems. Critical infrastructure like hospitals, railways and places of worship will be protected by this integrated network. The recent Run Samvad seminar emphasized how AI, quantum computing and cyber capabilities will play a pivotal role in this future-ready defense ecosystem. Now, let's do a quick recap of the triad of India's defense. To sum up India's defense trident, Aerial Shield S-400, Barak-8, Akash NG and AI-powered command with Akash land-based precision Brahmo supersonic missile, Rudram anti-radiation missiles, Pinaka rocket batteries and agile mobile strike units, futuristic edge, fifth generation stealth fighter hypersonic Brahmos 2, Project Kusha, extended range air defense and integrated AI-based systems. Together, they create a dynamic, agile and homegrown shield, a, moder a modern Sudarshan Chakra protecting the nation. Now, let's move forward to the conclusion, a shield for the nation. Jaisi Sudarshan Chakra sada dharm ki raksha karta hai, waisi hi humara adhunik raksha tantra, desh ki akhandita aur shanti ki suraksha karta hai. We began with the image of a Sudarshan Chakra, a divine disk of protection. Today, India is spinning its own powerful shield, built on advanced technology, strategic vision and indigenous innovation. This is not just preparation for war. It's a promise to protect the peace, prosperity and sovereignty of 1.4 billion Indians. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching Next IAS English. Until next time, stay safe, stay informed and stay proud of India's defense journey. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.